What is going on guys? We are back on another video today. We are in our Miami Dolphins on Lazier franchise. It is week two going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I told you we had a tough set of matchups here. The first game, obviously we took the ball away a lot and still only won by six. Those corners are filthy. Of course, Lance and his Jaguars also have some pretty good uh, players, specifically on the defensive side of things. You know, they have uh, he has an inside stuff defensive tackle. He's got some pretty good corners himself, some pretty good linebackers, and obviously he's a very solid user. So this could be our first loss of the season already, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just hoping for a close game, which uh, if that's the case, then I feel good about it no matter what, win or lose. Uh, of course, looking at the, the numbers across the board, uh, some pretty good players of the week already. Kyler Murray recently traded to the Broncos, had himself a day Obviously, our rookies showed up pretty nicely in week one. We're hoping to build off of that here in week two. Looking at the offense, looking at the roster, if you guys are new to this franchise, you know, here you go. And if you are, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe. This should be a good one. Should be a great series. I mean, I've been enjoying it at least. Uh, Waddle has an upgrade. We'll get to that. And uh, I believe Ward is going to get his second ability, which could be some trash, but... At least he's fast, right? <laughs> Let's take a look at his team, look at uh, the upgrades, and then head right into the game. Well, I guess we have game plan elite quarterback, which, of course, Trevor Lawrence is that elite quarterback. He probably has one for Tua as well. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, you know, a lot faster than Tua, stronger than Tua, just better than Tua. Uh, looking at the running back, Travis Etienne is going to be a lot harder to stop now uh, since he's kind of basically the best running back in the league because he has spin cycle and evasive, which is super great. Looking at the wide receivers, Kyron Lacey, his rookie from last year, uh, definitely uh, a guy he's going to want to throw to a lot. Devontae Smith had a really good week last week, I think. Uh, McMath, he, uh, you know, at once upon a time, really liked throwing to him and then kind of just stopped throwing to him a bit. But really, in these kind of matchups, the norm kind of goes out the window for both teams. It's just really about do what you can to win. Obviously, his tight end uh, with uh, Superstar Dev, I don't think he has very good abilities, though. Left tackle, Barch. Kindley is still there. Uh, Buckner is a uh, hidden development trait center. Ed Ingram, 78 over. I mean, so not a great offensive line, but anytime we've played Lance in the past, even with a bad offensive line, they just block well for him somehow. Chase on, I believe, is also a superstar. We obviously know Josh Allen's an X-Factor. Defensive tackle, the toughest guy to try and make a play on because I believe he has El Toro and inside stuff was just so good. Uh, Jabril Cox, very fast guy. Change of direction is not super great, but... Very good in general, X-Factor. His rookie linebacker, very solid in speed. And then Dylan Moses, once upon a time, his favorite user. Of course, CJ Henderson, the cornerback. Stingley, the cornerback. Uh, Garner, the cornerback. All these cornerbacks. Uh, Bayard, trying to look to move on from him, I believe. Obviously, he's kind of regressing. And then Joe Mama over here with... Uh, you know, six foot four in height, very uh, troublesome stuff. So I suppose uh, you want to limit the passing, but I probably should have said limit scrambling. Oh, what am I doing, dude? Although, I will say, I don't know what the limit scrambling one would have been if it would have been like, oh, it would have been better block shedding probably, dude. That's a double sell, because not only is it a tough assignment, but I also would have got a bonus for stopping the run, which is obviously the thing that we suck at the most. Of course, Jalen Waddle, we've been talking about trying to get his release up, trying to get his uh, medium route up. I mean, realistically, the best thing you can do for that is just continue to go deep threat. You get a lot of medium route upgrades, you get a lot of release upgrades, and speed at times. Give me that speed, baby! What's his speed now? 90! Oh my god! That's pretty good. That's, that's good. Of course, I've been trying to upgrade slot, but he's just never going to get to 85 slot first. Give me deep route KO. He's going to get, like, pick artist, which is going to be so bad. Deep route? Nothing. All right, so let's uh, let's do the... Oh, wait, what are the options? Oh, we can get short route as well. Ooh. And we did the roll, and we got lucky. We would have rather had uh, deep route KO, but short route KO it is. There we go. In Jacksonville, once again, not a nighttime game, which makes zero sense because... This is, I mean, potentially, you know, a preview of a championship game, preview of potentially the winner of this year's Super Bowl. You just never know. It's teams that are very, very, I mean, it's all Super Bowl games, I'm pretty sure. The the first three games, or first two games, have been three Super Bowl contenders and actual winners. Of course, this could be the play. It's not the play. Oh, huge hits. 
by Baker on, I don't even know who that is. I was kind of caught usering, obviously. Got on the wrong guy there. I was trying to be the deep purple, hoping that, you know, if it was the thing. But it wasn't, thankfully, because I would have still been beat, probably. In some trouble. And dropped. Oh, Howland kind of just killed them. I think that was Kyron Lacey on that play. That we were just talking about a little bit ago. Go to man coverage. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this. Yeah, get one. You want to, you know, could be a run. And that is some defense by us. Oh my! Fourth and four. May already uses go for. He's not going to. Of course, I would have done the exact same thing. I would have been a little more hesitant. I think he was just running straight to the open lane, rather than kind of, you know, maybe working on us. As Waddle's going to get a chance, nice dive there to the 29-yard line. It's a really, really good start by us getting that stop on third and whatever it was. It was third and five, I think, with a three-man. You know, I see, uh, you know, I, for one, I don't even know why I went with that. I was going to go with a, a base four to try and get him out of that, but obviously we didn't. Uh, he's kind of ready for it. Let's double, uh, you know, double his guy and then just go for it. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Stop it, Barber. What are you doing? Losing four yards on the first play. I mean, everyone commits to the run when you look like that, right? But if I go with a play action, I probably get beat anyways. So it's just, it's a never-ending battle of just sadness, really. We had him, too. Probably could have had Drayton if I would have stood tough in the pocket, but could not get that, unfortunately. Now we got ourselves in a situation where we can't really go to the ground. There you go, Drayton. Good fight, but fortunately we got ourselves in such a hole early that it's just not going to be... Uh, oh, what the hell? Yeah, I got uh, I to gotta do something about that. That's, <laughs> that's a punter wearing number 24. That's disgusting behavior. Good tackle, Bates. ETN, of course, spin cycle, evasive. Got to try to get him down as quickly as physically possible. Let's go, Bates. Could be, uh... Oh, it's going to be something underneath. Good tackle. Another kind of short play, and we're actually doing all right to defend that. Good tackle, and he's falling forward hard. Could use his go for it. Probably will use his go for it, to be honest. A fall for an animation from a guy that just isn't a power back, who has spin cycle, who has evasive. I mean, that's not, you know, that's tough. Both of us not really playing well on offense. He's going to punt the thing. Fair enough. We punted in a situation similar. That was a good move. That was a nice little move by Holland to slip under. That was actually kind of filthy. Didn't really mean a whole lot, but it was still cool as hell. Nice. Could be looking at Drayton. Got the double slant. Why? That's wide. That's so wide. What am I supposed to do? I mean, there's nothing I can do on that play. I mean, he's, he's literally wide open. Ah, it's all right. That's all right. Not really much I could do there. Good tackle. Good tackle. Not really much I could do there. Waddle or whoever. Fuller on the inside. He wasn't going to get the first down. I thought maybe he was going to follow it. He did follow for a second, but was able to turn back. It was a good read by him. It's second down. I don't throw that, but it's not second down. It's another third down situation. However, we're going to be giving him a field goal basically here unless we get a pick, which just isn't going to happen. I missed hard there. Bad offensive line just locking up again. But, you know, it's it's all set up by a good Yang got a wide open tight end for 20 and we go for the possession i don't know if two just missed the throw over through it what's the story but I, I don't know like it just leads to that it's just it's stuff like that dude wide open it's a first down instead no first down and he ends up getting a pick because we're kind of forced to force it a little bit sicky on that play maybe had fuller there might have had fuller didn't trust it, though. There was two safeties. I don't know if the other safety did, but if he didn't back up, then, yeah, he might have been open for the touchdown, which is a bit of an L on my part. Running opposite side of those guys on the D-line. Nice move. Oh, wow. 
literally being blocked, wasn't he? Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't matter. Play action. Could be looking for the tight end. Catch that. And then my tackle's injured. Getting pretty EA'd at this point. Nice. There you go. Just don't get injured. Could be looking for Waddle. Run up the middle. Mitchell gaining about eight on the play, I think. It's hard to tell. Math is not my first language. Really trying to drag him out with uh, Fuller or Drayton. We're going to see which one he covers. Hey, he caught it. Surprise, he caught it. That route for Drayton is pretty OP. And it is. Touchdown, Drayton. What a throw. That route is filthy, dude. Looking like a run to the right. It's not a run to the right. Ah! Good play, good play. Yeah, I am a monster. I just yelled. I was too busy looking over the middle. It's a risky read by him, but he obviously got it there. So it really doesn't matter too much. Kind of wish we could have Ward on the other side. We put the flat over there more often than not. I mean, that's not broken at all. <laughs> that should be picked. Sick read, man. Ooh, good tackle. Could be a quick out. Nice! Good play by Bates. What a game. Even a midi double tap day. Love it, dude. To be fair, I don't think he double tapped it. I think he actually uh, thought it was open and, and Baker was there. But he's trying to say he double tapped it. But either way, it doesn't really matter to me. These BS catches that should be picks are just giving them the lead. I will say it takes the pressure off me, you know, knowing that EA has kind of already handed them the game. I don't have to complain anymore. I can just, you know, play the game for stats. If I win in the uh, process, sweet. If not, it is what it is. Just live how we live. And then my guy drops it, of course. It's a risky read in fairness, but at least it wasn't like a pick-worthy read. Quick throw to Waddle, potentially. Flag, what's that? Holding, first down, taken away. Dropped, of course. Could be looking at Waddle Deep. Dime. Dime. Quick throw underneath to Drayton. Gains about eight. Good little first down by Barber. Nice fall forward. Gains about five or six. Another lineman hurt. Good throw. Gains about nine. Dislocated shoulder for the guard. <laughs> My replacement for him is the guy that's already injured himself, bro. He can't come in. He knows it's a run. Just a run, I don't care. Job Barber gains a few. I feel like Fuller's going to be open, but he's going to somehow make a play on it. And there's AI. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Through the block. Good job. He's playing that inside shade. I bet you Fuller still doesn't get open. No, nope, maybe he does. Should have led that up a little bit, but I'm afraid of throwing that pick. Good catch. Waddle dotting up a little bit on this drive. He shouldn't stop this, but who knows. Down to the one. That's all right. There you go. Fullback. Fullback doesn't get too many touchdowns, to be honest. But he got one there. Really good bounce back, considering the uh, the situations we have found ourselves in. Goddamn dot of a throw by two. I can't believe Waddle actually only barely got open on that. And he played man coverage. I don't know if he had the inside shade. It really doesn't matter. No safety help. I mean, in real life, that's probably a touchdown with the speed comparison. Once again, he's got some pretty speedly guys, but no one 98 speed. You know, it's just like, I mean, I don't even got anyone 98 speed. If Ward's in man coverage there, I'm not expecting him to cover that. And I imagine Ward's faster than any of his corners, right? I, I would assume. Doubt it's a wide receiver screen. It's 
It's all right. All right, John Franklin. We got locked up. Nice hit, Richardson. Clock's kind of running a little bit. It's actually because of that time. I'm going to be going with by speed for matchups. I think that should be good. We got any man coverage? A little iffy, but... Oh, man. It's good defense, all things considered, to be honest. Could be a run, that's all right. Nice sack, John. I don't know if that was John or not. Oof. I mean, with the kind of, you know, jump balls he's had this game. Can't really even blame him for trying that, to be honest. Trying to jump and there's no chances getting that, but... Might as well try. And gives us a chance at the Hail Mary, I guess. Not that we're going to be the ones to catch it, but... Slide right... All right, I don't know what that was, but okay. Inside, Fuller. Nice try. All right, this run, probably not going to work out. He's going against uh, Grady as well. I don't know why I did that. Didn't need to. That was a waste. Just run. Just literally run up the middle. You have the lane. Oh, uh, God. What else do we got? We go with Shallow Cross. Not a bad play. Dropped, of course. Man coverage. I mean, to be fair, the way we set that up, he only had to... Uh, all he really had to do was cover the in cut. I doubt Fuller's going to get open here, but... Insta rush again by his user. I mean, I feel like we have to go for this. All right, let's try it. Drayton. Good play. Oof. My one go for, obviously. So if we need it later, kind of cucked ourselves. Good shot. Whatever attempt. Juke attempt, I guess. Slip off. Whatever you want to call it. We're moving. Obviously, that fourth down conversion, as long as you don't throw a pick, was a good decision. You know, it's a tough one, fourth down, but that play just isn't good, though. Instant, the, the pressure, dude. I don't understand. I bring blitzes, I get nothing. Ooh, that was a close call. It's 50 50. Maybe should have threw that in a little sooner, but it's 50 50 ball. It's a very close play. Probably should have threw that a little sooner. I was looking for some of the other routes because Fuller looked like he had a chance to get open, just never did. All right. Slip off from my X-Factor linebacker. Bring him down. Thank you. Oh, Richardson had a chance. I think he was a little out of position for that, though. I think he was just sliver out of position. But hey, I'm just glad he didn't get mossed on like he did earlier. It was him that got mossed over the middle. I got blocked hard there. And, of course, nice blocks again. A good cutback by him. He had the lane. Kind of made it easier on him, too, by just not being in there. Of course, his guy ran way out there to block me, which was crazy. I've never seen anything like that from our guys. <laughs> the fall forwards, dude. That is so bad. I was literally waiting there for him. I literally had him. Of course he holds on. Holland's on that, though, isn't he? How is he getting beat? Could be pitched. If he would have caught that, dude. He predetermined that, but Ward's a fast individual. Good tackle. All right, Raymond Jennings on the return. He's been close. That was a sick little spin. 
tell that was an AI spin because I would never have gotten that kind of speed on a spin. Double drag look. Oof, that could have been a fumble. Obviously, we've popped him hard a lot this game too, but we've obviously not been really on the receiving end of the, the happiness things. You know what I mean? So, I don't really trust that deep, but... Yeah, there you go, Fuller. Landed it. Guarantee he drops that if he doesn't, you know, at least get the feet down before. It's all about placement. Used uh, one blocker. Jackson kind of crushed that. For some reason, the running back gets covered, uh, gets wide open on this a lot. That's what I'll be looking at, but... Ooh, that was weird. Barber, nice fall forward, gains about eight. So annoying, dude. Those fall forwards are just so annoying. He doesn't catch this. There you go, dime. Good five. Is that Jabril Cox playing like the deep safety? What was that? That was weird. That booth review. Don't you damn play your hand, ref. Don't you play your damn hand, ref. Oh, there's a lot of wind in this game. Holy crap. Eight mile per hour. If it comes down to like a record breaking field goal, I don't know what his guy's like. I know he has the accuracy thing. I don't know what his length is. Probably pretty good. Okay, that's weird to say. But uh could be a record breaker in this one, you never know. And we got locked up. Oh, what a pop! Richardson just killed him. I think that was Ward's coverage game. Just didn't let my guy get in there. I thought he was gonna thought he was gonna take that shot. I think he had Devontae Smith deep. We were not built for that. We were not ready for that situation. Kind of like a John Franklin Myers situation. Tackle Tate. Means about two. I'm actually glad he did that. Lance is usually the kind of guy that would take the shot there, so the fact that he didn't makes me feel pretty decent. Oof. Good D. Damn, there ain't nobody in sight. Oof. To the 8, it probably helps us more than being at, like, the 12. I just don't understand how people blitz us and they just, they kill us. I blitz and we get killed. That's a huge hit. Really surprised we're not seeing a fumble, to be honest. I don't know why he did that. That was a bit of a force. Seeing that play a lot. Wow, Will Fuller's in the zone. We never see our guys in the zone. <laughs> All right. Now his guy's injured. I am honestly just glad it's not us for once. To be a quick throw to Barber, ain't gonna lie. There you go. Dime to the 34. Good play. Good user by him. We actually got some blocking for once, which was nice. Oh, he, he sold that one. Nice first down, Barber. That was the best run of the game, probably. Barber, nice fall forward. Dude, I don't know. There's just certain backs are brokenly good. I don't know what it is. I need a block from the fullback. I'm going to try to take a shot for the win here. If, if that would have been picked, dude. My guy's in the zone. Like, it's literally just one good ability. It's double me and that's it. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't even realize that it was third down. I'm calling a timeout. Red sun scissors. Do we hit him with it? I don't know if he hit us with it, but I'm willing to do it myself. And that is an amazing throw, crossbody. I just pull the freaking Kermit. Well, that's kind of backwards. I'm going with Tate on that out. Bruh, how is that so open? Jesus. And a hold. Underneath, Peoples-Jones. Nice little play. 
to the 31 yard line. Barber. Good hit. Surprised he didn't fumble. <laughs> Good job, game. Wide open. Completely leaves it. Completely leaves it. And of course. Of course, my guy runs back to the line. Way to go. Overthrown. Good tackle. He's probably willing to play for the overtime, to be honest. Perfect blocks. Good tackle, Duncan. Let the clock go one more time. I think it's the smart call, to be honest. Picked off by the rookie. Good job, Richardson. GG to Lance. Um, what a bad game, honestly. It's just too much RNG in this video game. It really is. Like, it's fun to play at times, but man, you just get in a mood early and it just ruins everything. We came away with the win, but I don't really. I mean, you still feel like a loss. That's how bad the game is with stuff like this, where it's just so much RNG, like, overthrows that pass, but hits the wide open, I mean, it's a wide open pass, but hits it on the money, falling backwards to waddle. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand, I don't get it. In real life, sure, Tua should hit that throw, right? He definitely should hit the throw that, uh, to waddle. Uh, where, you know, it was a perfect throw falling backwards. But it shouldn't be as on target. It should just be barely completed, to be honest. Uh, running, I mean, there really wasn't much to look at. Uh, receiving, Drayton had a lot of catches. Again, Fuller came up pretty clutch. Waddle came up pretty clutch. Uh, Peoples-Jones had a couple of catches. Nothing really spectacular, but uh, a couple of sacks. He had a lot more pressure than us, though. It wasn't even close. The rookie, Richardson, who got mossed early in the game. Came up with a pick at the end there, I suppose. Let's take a look at what happens here. Oh, wow. They don't even show it. Jesus. Good play game. Love it. Look at Tua, though. He just... <laughs> yeet! I mean, he was wide open, but... I mean, to hit it on the money on top of it, that's a, a lot to ask for. Of course, here, Tua rolling out. That's a pretty freaking cool rollout. On the run, of course, I think that's the no-look, whatever, bullcrap. I don't know if it activated, but here was a pretty clutch play. I don't know why he just threw this. I think Lance does predetermine a lot of stuff. He makes good reads, but certain situations, he predetermines it a little too hard. Uh, I think for me, I don't predetermine enough, and I end up just throwing too late, to be honest. But there's that. What about that touchdown play? I don't know if it was really a touchdown. I mean, this is a touchdown, but... Of course, this is a rookie tight end going up against his, I think, superstar X-Factor corner, which is pretty cool. Kind of destroyed him. Makes sense. Uh, the running back got wide open, too. I didn't even see that. Normally, there's, you know, they're not that open. He's probably looking at the tight end more. Either one probably is a touchdown, maybe. I don't know. Dot to that corner. Uh, where is that, that catch, though? Ah, Nice. Will Fuller with another upgrade, which is a little surprising. Once again, I've been kind of debating on trying to keep this upgrade. But I suppose we'll go with Deep Threat. Why not? 91 overall again. Speed upgrade. Uh, two to spec, two to release. One to change the direction, one to catch, one to catch in traffic, one to agility. I mean, I suppose it's a pretty damn good upgrade, so I'm not going to be mad at it. Going to have re-signings next week. Got three big names. Let's go with... The game plan, you know, of course, we uh, we said we were going to hold them to 250. I'm sure that's that's what I would have definitely said if I knew that's what the choices were. But, uh, of course, Xavier Howard will have his X-Factor active for next game, which is just a complete lie and always is. <laughs> but, once again, GG to Lance. I mean, it's nothing he was really doing anyways. It's just the game super annoying with the, you know, the random RNG. We probably had a little bit in our favor. You know, there's a couple of plays I think there were drop picks they were all like 50 50 in general same with his but 
you know, timing ones where, you know, right as he's there, our guy's there, the hands kind of touch. You can give it either way. Um, but I definitely got to admit, like, we we got cucked early. And I, you know, mentally I was still in it, like I said. But I was kind of just like, okay, well, I'm just going to try to do what we do. Try to get into the groove, get it to the people we want to get it to. And if a win comes along with it, we will take it. And that's kind of what happened. I don't know, dude. It's just... A weird game, and uh, we end up getting the win, I guess. I mean, really, this, this is one of those matchups where it's really close. You don't really know what this means for the future. Obviously, it helps getting the win and potentially getting the bye week because we have the tiebreaker on him. But as far as, like, you know, looking back at this matchup, if we have to play again in the playoffs, there's really not much to take from it. Either one of us could easily blow out the other in the playoffs or if we played again. So it's just one of those games where you're happy to win, but you're not really thinking, okay, well... That clearly means we're better. It's like, you know, it's just, it is what it is. It's really it's just a game that we completed, and we were lucky enough to be the victors on, I guess. We play week three against the Jets, and uh, that should be a fun one. The Niners, I can't really remember playing them. And then, of course, the Super Bowl rematch against the Packers in week five. Some pretty tough matchups coming up here. Like we said, you know, it's not going to be an easy schedule. you got the Patriots, the Broncos as well. I mean, this is not an easy schedule. Like, this is, uh, this is a bit of a bad one, but it is what it is. You got to play who you're, you know, is on your schedule and deal with it another time. Regardless, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, Care Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for streams, which I've obviously just kind of, uh, you know, forgot about. But as far as anyone, if you're mad at the way the commentary is, I understand, but at the same time, it's even though it's like annoying at times it is a breath of fresh air right because everyone on youtube these days is like oh look at me my name is uh johnny i'm gonna be playing games oh darn we just threw a pick six to lose the game we'll get them next time it's like no sometimes you are just mad <laughs> you know nobody's a perfect cookie cutter robot so i don't know it depends on what you guys like i can try to just be cheery even if i'm not happy in the game you know i do understand it's the way madden is and i've said it for years that at the end of the day sports games are kind of the toughest to uh to make in a way because there's a lot of animations that you know people could say oh animations i don't know how it works if you don't have animations you can't can't predict things as well and i don't know maybe they just need a new game engine but i will say it just seems like the scenarios of, you know, players to players is tougher, right? Like, if you're playing a shooting game, you shoot someone, whoever gets the most bullets gets the kill, right? But that you can't really do in, in a sports game because it's like, how do you, you know, determine who gets what? You know, it's it's really a lot. There is a lot of RNG, and it's kind of the way that the sport is, really. But regardless, thanks for watching. That's my uh, TED Talk for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video... See ya!